Hey gamers, it's Ryan, six days a week, and today we're talking about how physical damage is calculated and all of the different item enchantments that affect it. Let's first begin by building the physical damage equation. This is done by calculating your character's basic or base attack damage. This can be summarized in the expression shown right here. Your basic attack damage takes into account your equipped weapon damage, increased by your physical power bonus, a percent multiplier, and finally includes any additional physical damage. Looking at this equation, you can already begin to connect how some of the item enchantments correspond directly by name. Plus weapon damage directly increases your base weapon damage, and the plus additional physical damage enchantment corresponds to, guessed it, the additional physical damage variable right here. The number you get here is the full damage dealt when attacking a unit with completely neutral physical resistances and no localized damage modifiers, such as headshots and limb shots. I use the term neutral there since physical resistance can actually drop below 0% in which damage is amplified if your equipped armor rating is below 10. Finally, the last part of the damage calculation is true physical damage, which is applied as a raw value on a successful hit. Therefore, it doesn't benefit from headshot bonuses, but it also is not penalized by limb shots or physical resistance. Now you can see how the plus armor penetration and the plus true physical damage enchantments fit in. But what about the rest of the item enchantments that affect physical damage, such as the plus all attributes, plus strength, and plus physical power? These are all actually translated into your percent physical power bonus, which in return directly scales your weapon damage as seen in the basic damage expression. We will get into the finer details in the All Attributes Explained video, but for now as a general rule, if you're at least 15 strength, you can estimate each additional point of strength and physical power will equate to a 1% increase in physical power bonus, therefore increasing your total weapon damage by 1%. If you are one of the classes that start below 15 strength, you actually suffer a minor physical damage penalty until you reach that neutral value. But the point-to-point -point ratio of physical power and physical power bonus is increased to help you close that gap. At 50 strength, or physical power, the physical power bonus conversion falls down to plus 0.5%. But it is fairly difficult to get to that high of strength, so you really don't need to worry about that. We can now revisit the full equation with the list of enchantments and know exactly how they're added in when calculating our on-hit damage. Just remember that your weapon damage is comprised of your base weapon damage and any damage from the plus weapon damage enchantments, and that the enchantments added to your physical power bonus will not always be in a 1 to 1 ratio. Here's that equation again, just without all the extra details. Now, how can we put a value on the different damage focused item enchantments? At this point in time, we can generally say that the plus all attributes enchantment is the most beneficial to any physical damage focused build, as it provides physical power and HP through strength, and attack and movement speed through agility. The other stats may also be important to your build, but that's all covered in the attributes explained video. In the same vein, plus strength is also a great enchantment as it gives health and physical power. Self explanatory. If you can't afford attribute based enchantments, as they can be extremely sought after, or if your build heavily prioritizes damage over HP, it may be better to aim for weapon damage, additional physical damage, and physical power. In that given order, based on how the math works out. This is actually a good time to point out that physical power is actually just strength, but without the HP component. Its maximum roll is also higher than that of strength. Just something to consider when shopping around. True damage and armor penetration enchantments are becoming more and more valuable, as we are beginning to see builds with insane amounts of physical resistance, like Fashizzle's 95% damage reduction build, as seen in Drosboni's video, linked in the description below. Just don't forget that true damage doesn't benefit from the headshot multiplier, and can be priced much higher than that it is actually worth. There is one last damage related enchantment, the percent physical damage bonus enchantment, which I haven't brought up until now because it's fairly low rolling and is a percent addition to your physical power. So it really only benefits you if you're exceeding the 50 physical power threshold, or already doing more than 100 damage per hit. I personally prioritize my damage enchantments like this since I mainly play melee classes but that of course can change based on what builds you're seeking. I'd like to also give a brief shout out to Krypton, who is actually able to iteratively find out the physical damage calculations through trial and error, like a true mad lad, as well as the spells and guns wiki for their work in compiling all the community's findings and data. 
links below of course. Alongside some of the more intense dark and darker content like this video and the two previous deep dives, I'll be publishing some intro content as I have many friends who may be interested in this incredible game but need some simple guides and gameplay explanations to really reel them in. As always, please feel free to leave a comment with any questions or critiques, and thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next playtest.